What up, y'all? It's your boy, Mike T. Back at it again with another one. Now, as you can tell, I'm out and about. I thought I'd switch things up a bit and take y'all shopping with me. And I'm actually on my way to buy a couple sprays, but I thought I'd drop by a store that is not necessarily known for quality fragrances or fragrances in general. But nonetheless, let's go check it out. Alright y'all, we back in the whip. Now I did find a couple sprays, four men's fragrances and two for women. So let's head back to the crib and take a look and a smell at what Dollar Tree has to offer as far as fragrances. I'll see y'all back at the crib. As you can tell, the bag has been secured. Now I'm gonna try not to waste any time. So let's dive right into these sprays. Now first up, this spray is simply called number 31. And this one is actually a clone of Tommy by Tommy Hilfiger, which is one of my least favorite sprays that I own. So I honestly don't have high hopes for this spray at all. Well, any of these sprays, but nonetheless, let's dive right in. The bottle is nothing special at all. It just says Luxury Men, number 31. It is a glass bottle with a cheap plastic cap and the atomizer looks terrible to say the least. But let's put one in there. Well, I can see where they're going with this one. It does smell a little bit like Tommy, mostly on the dry down because the opening of Tommy by Tommy Hilfiger is something that I just do not like whatsoever. So this smells very outdated to me and old manish. This one honestly isn't too bad. It's not too alcohol forward, which I actually thought all of these were going to smell like straight up alcohol in the, in the opening. Like number 31 isn't terrible, but it's not one that I would ever see myself rocking, especially because it is a clone of one of my least favorite sprays of all time. This one actually smells better, but overall it's not great. Now moving on, this spray is actually a clone or inspired by Mont Blanc Legend by Mont Blanc. And this one is called Black Mountain. As you can tell by the box, this one is from EAD, which stands for European American Designs. And lucky for us, it's new and improved. Let's talk about the bottle. This one actually looks better than the previous one, but just like that one, it is a glass bottle and another cheap cap and shitty atomizer. Let's put this one in there. Hmm. This one actually isn't that terrible. It reminds me of like a polo cologne. It's very fresh, a little musky, and somewhat powdery. It actually smells a little bit like Burberry Touch. First impressions of Black Mountain. It's actually not terrible. I could see somebody rocking this to the gym or something like that. It's very fresh, a little powdery, and just a little bit citrusy, but nothing too crazy. But overall, Black Mountain is pretty good, especially for a dollar. The next spray that I got is actually inspired by Ed Hardy from Men, which I've never smelled before. So I hope the first impression gives me something to look forward to. This one is simply called number five. And just like Ed Hardy, has a dumb, corny ass looking logo right here. But fuck the box, that's about the spray inside. Just like number 31, it's the same bottle type. On well, this time, the juice inside is orange. So let's see what they're talking about. Wow, this one, honestly, it ain't too bad at all. Like I said, I haven't smelled Ed Hardy from Men, so I don't know if it's similar or not. But this scent does remind me of another well-known scent from John Paul Gaultier. It's very powdery and sweet. Honestly, I might just do a full review on this one because first impressions, this one is shockingly good. Once again, this one is number five. All right, now last up for the men's side is actually a clone or their version of a polo fragrance. And this one is supposed to be polo black. The juice inside this one, damn near identical, is a number 31. Well, let's see what this one smells like. Okay, yeah, this one, this one is a negative for me. Now, if you spend any time on my channel, you know that I cannot stand green smelling scents. And this one, right off the bat, just a burst of green, just musty, just ugh. Yeah, this one is a big fat no for me. I ain't gonna waste any more of my time talking about this one. Number 28, trash. All right, last but not least, we got two sprays or body mist for the ladies. First of which is centered around melon and plum. This one is called Pure Attraction Melanin Plum. And this is actually by Bath & Beauty, not to be confused with Bath & Body Works. Yeah, let's put it in there. Damn, that reminds me of playing. Okay, this one ain't bad. It actually smells like an air freshener more than anything. I don't really see any female wanting to smell like this, but it's not too bad. Nothing too offensive or anything like that. Sweet and fresh. Rounding things off, this spray is called Love Forever. It's supposed to smell like cherry blossom and jasmine. So let's see. This one's alright, it smells like a blue raspberry candy or juice, something like that. I honestly like the other one more than this one, but these both could double as a car air freshener. So if you're looking for a new air freshener, 
these would do. Now, if I had to pick a favorite spray out of all these, it would probably be the Ed Hardy clone. But overall, this Dollar Tree haul was $7 that I didn't mind spending. Now, if you're feeling this video or any of my other ones, go and give your boy a big thumbs up and drop a comment down below and let me know what you want to see me do next. And be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Official Shoes and Sprays, where you get more content as well as sneak peeks of my up and coming videos. And if you ain't a subscriber by now, do me a favor, click that button, because it helps me out tremendously. And you as well, because at the end of the day, I'm just trying to put y'all on game the best way that I can. And if you ain't know, I drop new videos every Tuesday and Thursday night at 10 p.m. So be on the lookout for the next one. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. But as always, it's your boy Mike T. And until the next one.